Okay, students, um, this is a new one for me. So um, I was thinking about how can I add some value to your lives a little bit. And uh, I thought maybe I'd make a little video showing you how to cook some uh, really easy recipe for chili. So um, I'm gonna kind of use what I have on hand as much as I can <clears throat> and hopefully uh, create something that's uh, pretty cool. Hopefully the video won't be too, too long, but I'm gonna try to show you the steps and uh, I'll pause it if like, you know, I'm just doing a bunch of cutting of the vegetables or something. You don't need to see all of that. Um, but again, just kind of showing you how I do it and it's gonna be like a protein uh, packed dish. So that's gonna be really cool for us. Uh, I just got out of climbing, so I'm gonna need some protein, right? And uh, this will be a meal that I can cook for now for the whole week, right? So this way I don't have to worry about it when I come home and I'm tired and I'm just hungry. So <clears throat> I already did one green pepper, um, but I'm gonna do a second one and I thought I should show you how to do this before I got going. I thought maybe I could just cut all the vegetables ahead of time, but let's just go ahead and do it this way. So uh, you got the little core. Try not to you know take too much off of it, right? You want to save as much as you can. And then what I do with these cores is I've got a little bag here, right? And I'll throw them in there. And anything that I don't use eventually is going to be frozen. And then what I'm going to do with that frozen part is I'm going to eventually make vegetable stock with it. So Again, you're just like ripping out this middle stem part there, okay? Which is like super cool. So the vegetable stock I can put on, I can make like a soup out of it. Or uh, what I like to do is save it for Achilles. He likes it on his food. So that's kind of cool. So, all right. So as part of cutting this up, first you want to make sure that your knife is sharper than mine, okay? I don't have the sharpest of knives, but I'm doing my best. And then you just cut it into sections like so. And some people, again, like, you know, know the audience, right? I'm not trying to make this perfect. Um, it's just me, so don't gotta be. Get as close as we can. Like little chunks like that. Like I'm good with that, that's good. And then if some of the chunks end up a little bigger, then you can just cut those down. For you culinary students out there, you'll do a way better job, but for people that are stuck just making like hot pockets, maybe you can diversify a little after this video. <clears throat> All right, so that's a pepper done. <clears throat> and I'm just like collecting all of these pieces and I've got a, you know, that bowl that I showed you earlier. And basically what it, we want to do is we want to get a bowl of green pepper that we're all going to cook together. <clears throat> I'll show you what that looks like and sort of what it looks like at the end. We want to make sure that our green, our uh, meat's cooking. Right after I'm done with this green pepper, I'm actually going to start that. Everything is essentially going to be cooked, mostly. And then the end part is just like warming stuff up. Like the beans or the, the corn that we're going to do. We're going to do a little corn because we got some. So mine as well, right? But these green peppers need to be softened up for sure. Okay. All right, so green pepper done. All right, while I'm doing the onion, I want to get the ground beef going. So let me uh, kind of show you that process there. Okay. So, so this is uh, the ground beef I'm going to use. So this is a uh, pound and 14 ounces, so almost two pounds. And I'm going to use four pounds because, again, I want it to be, like, you know, protein rich. So it's going to be a meatier chili. And... So I'm going to cut these open. By the way, for me, I buy this stuff in bulk. So let me put you guys over here so you can see what I'm doing on the sink here. So I buy this in bulk. I buy half a cow at a time. And it's pretty cool because I get tons and tons of meat all at once. And 
it all ends up being like five fifty a pound for everything per you know pound that I buy. And it depends on how big the cow is, is how much you know, pounds of meat you're buying or whatever. But at the end, essentially I get meat that I'll buy in like October ish. And that will last me for a year usually. Or close to it. You know, somewhere around eleven months. Here. So here's what I got. It's there. The other thing that I'm going to do is I've got these mild, because I have a weak stomach here, mild chili packets, less sodium, and I'm going to use salt. And I'm going to use that just to top the meat with, and then I'm going to use it throughout to uh, spice up stuff. So I got two packets here. I said one for the, the meat itself, and then one for the rest of the cooking process. So we'll mix it up as it goes. I'm going to put it on medium heat here, show you that process. So we're over here, let's put the light on so you can see a little better. Okay, cool. So there it is. And you see that okay? Yeah, you can see. Okay. All right. And then, you know, we'll mix it as we go. As it starts to warm up, I'm going to be kind of like flip flopping between stations here, if you will. But we'll get that going. Maybe I can. There's Achilles. Achilles busy here. Let's see if we can get that in the background. Cool. All right. So, next thing that I got to do is going to do this onion. Okay. So, as that's cooking, and remember, we can't forget about that, right? We can't forget, we got meat going. Okay. So, I'm going to cut the ends. Okay. Again, I'm going to put them in my uh, bag here to make sure that we're using all and we're not wasting stuff, right? As much as we can. When I get the uh, half a cow, they give me all of the fat trimmings. And those fat trimmings, it's called suet, S-U-E-T, suet. And that suet, what you do is you uh, sort of boil it down and cook it down, and it becomes beef tallow, which is really cool for frying anything. It works great when hot at a high heat. So I'll show you that when I do my vegetables, instead of using olive oil, which you could certainly use, use vegetable oil, use whatever you want, but I'm gonna use this tallow that I got because I got it. I'm gonna use it. It's thunderstorming outside, so Achilles is going crazy. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing over here. Make sure you guys are seeing. So again, we're just gonna kinda of cut into small chunks here as best we can. Onions outer layer peeled on me a little, so it's making a little bit of a mess, but we'll be good. And again, you know, like, if this is boring to you, fast forward, I promise the other part of, like, the final product is kind of cool, so. But for those of you that want to see that even me, even I, can do something this simple, right? It means you can that's the whole point. So there's half. I'll do the other half. And then bounce back over. I can hear the meat going. I dropped a couple pieces. Got your pieces in here. Try not to waste anything, right? Cut. You guys just like be super careful right um you know there's a little trick where you can like kind of hold it this way so this way you're guaranteed not to hurt your fingers you can do that 
I live on the wild side here. Cool. Now that I got it this way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in half sections. Okay, because that's uh, what I want to do. So I have a little bit more control of the end. sharpest knife ever which they tell me is super dangerous but I've tried to sharpen it with those little sharpener things and it just I don't know I guess I'm too dumb for that <sighs> guess I should watch a YouTube video on that <laughs> all right so I got the pieces same thing. And again, it's two onions, two green peppers, right? And I'm not going to cook them together either. That's like a sort of important point to this whole deal. If you cook them together, they'll cook uneven because the onion will cook faster because it's like smaller, thinner, whatever. Okay, let's check out what we got going on here. Okay, super cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of mix it up here a little bit, and uh, I'm not going to use a metal spatula because that'll ruin the bottom of my pan. Okay. 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 I'm not going to use wood because that would be super bad. Okay. You can kind of see me here. Okay. Okay. So. Gonna mix everything up as best you can, get that seasoning moved around in there so it's not just on some sections, it's on all. You could have done that at the start. I didn't want to make my hands all messy again. Okay. Cool. We got this little metal thing here. I'm gonna put that on. Okay. So we're good there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get top. And the reason for that, hopefully this one fits. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna get top just to collect all the heat in there. And we're we're definitely gonna have to drain this. It's gonna have some grease, but that's okay. Um but anyway, it's gonna cook the top and the and the bottom now, like you know, kind of contain that heat. So it'll cook a little faster for us. It's nice. So what we're gonna do. All right. So, so that's going right. We're good there. And uh, next, let's do the other onion. Again, you know, fast forward if that's boring for you. Okay. So same thing. It looks like the outer layer I didn't quite get good enough, so I'm going to take that outer layer off. Okay. Just making sure that I've got that. I'm going to peel it up to the end, and then when I take the end off, it should all come off together. Okay, get nice strips here, so I'm going to put pieces everywhere. Nice. Okay. It's like trying to tear wrapping paper off of like a present, but keep it intact. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. And then we're going to take this. We're going to take this. And I think, yeah, that's the only vegetables. Yeah, that's the only one. So, I'm going to take this and put it in my freezer. freezer. Let's get a new light from the freezer. I think the bulb's gone. That's unfortunate. Okay. Cool. Having them up. Okay. Got those. Okay. Same thing. So 
So I find like the real important, you know, sort of value in cooking over the weekend and cooking something, you know, kind of larger like this is that if you know you're going to have a busy week, it's really cool to just be able to take what you got, throw it in the microwave or whatever, and then you've got your dinner done in whatever, two minutes or three minutes. So it's, it's definitely a time investment. But then you're not going out and spending money wherever Five Gun is or Mo's or God forbid McDonald's if you hate yourself. <laughs> I'm joking. McDonald's is good every once in a while. All right, onions are done, man. And you can season them however you want, like if you want to put more garlic on them. That's the one thing I wish I would have had in this recipe was garlic, but I forgot. We're all good. So with that, take this knife, make sure that it's like out of the way so I don't hurt myself or whatever. Okay, let's check up on that meat, right? <clears throat> show you what I did for uh, tomato sauce, by the way, because I forgot it, and I have an extra can. I'll show you. Okay. Cool, cool. So this is going to have, like, a ton of grease, right? You see, like, there's a ton of grease there. Yeah. And we are not going to keep all of this grease, right? Like, it's just, that's just not going to happen. Some of it's going to be good, <clears throat> but, like, buckets of its not so so what I'll do is um, do my best to kind of drain it out over the sink I'll have a little bowl to catch it and then uh, what I'll do is I'll take that grease and I won't pour it down my sink drain by the way you people that have uh, any love for your pipes especially if you're in well water like I am you don't want that grease to settle in and then collect on the bottom of your pipes and then uh, create a blockage there because that would not be good for your septic tank um, not being able to let the the sort of water filter out right this grease will like plug it up and it's sticky and you know, all that stuff so don't don't just toss it down the drain if you're in a city system i guess you can do it i've seen people do it i live in the city uh, nothing bad happened, but I, I would just, if you can, get that outside, get it out of your house. And the animals outside will love you for it. <laughs> Look near bears, don't do that though. Make sure it's far away. <laughs> and don't put it in like your mom's garden or something. That'll make her real upset. All right, guys, so that's moving and grooving. We got that. I'll show you the other things that we got for today. Uh, so we got our beef stock. That bone broth behind there is for me for later. It's a, another way to get collagen to my body so that I can recover because I have to set the, for the gym tomorrow. And then there is my uh, tomato sauce. So basically what I did, I got two cans of these at... Um, shopper and uh, diced tomatoes because I want some diced tomatoes inside there to give it like an extra consistency it'll be really cool but I forgot to get tomato sauce so and tomato sauce is, is probably a good thing to help like be the binding agent for a lot of this you don't need a ton of it so so what I did is I took it to the blender blended it up it's pretty much tomato sauce it's a little thin but I'm gonna be okay with it we'll cook it down so blended it up so I've got my tomato sauce I've got my tomatoes, and I got the ones with chilies too, because I think that's going to be fun. About a little, it's just green chilies. They're mild. They're not like crazy spicy or anything. So that's cool. Um, I got corn. Um, very simple, but I just 
I like it in my chili, so that's what we're gonna do. And then you can pick like whatever beans you like. Um, I just get these because uh, you can get a bunch of them for not a lot of money. Um, what is this, like $2 for this whole big thing? So not even, I think it's like $1.69. It's weird that I know that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that's your protein as well. So you've got your ground beef as your protein, and then of course your, uh, your beans as your protein. And then a lot of vegetables, so nothing, nothing bad here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna clean up the sink and get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna cook down this, which is looking beautiful. And then once that happens, I'll bring you guys back, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Okay, um, so let's do the draining of that grease because uh, I think that means pretty much almost there. It's pretty close. Um, again, doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's gonna cook more. I'm gonna take meat here. <clears throat> again, there's a little bowl here. You can see the bowl, okay? All right, and then it's really hot, so just like, be super duper careful. And I've got my spatula. And it's gonna roll over the side, so I'll show you what I do, just to like make sure that it doesn't start to smoke in here. And again, you don't need to get all of it out. Okay, just get some of it. So it's gonna burn out, and some of it just being in there is fine. It's okay. Cool. So, I will uh, take this outside. You can kind of see in there. <laughs> it's like a reflection of a reflection. Okay, there it is. And it's colored because of the, uh, what you call it, the seasoning that we put in there. So we lost a little seasoning, but we have a whole nother packet. We're good. We're good, man. <clears throat> All right. Dude, I should get paid from price shopping for bringing my pants in. Okay, here we go. So. Yeah, forgive me for the camera work. Freaking terrible, but. So, um, it, it's got to be done, you know? So, like, you shouldn't see too much red or, uh, or pink anymore, and I don't. Um, if you saw, like, a little bit of pink, like, little spots maybe um it's gonna be okay because it's gonna they're gonna cook down and by the way like you know people eat medium meat all the time so as long as it's not rare they're okay but like i said it's gonna be cooking because <clears throat> what i've got now that this is done i got another pot this one right here okay the meat's gonna go into this right and i'm gonna put this one on low okay and I'm gonna start cooking down our um, tomato sauce. So, let's see what we're doing here. I'm gonna be super duper careful that I don't burn myself. And if you had all that grease, it'd be super dangerous, right? Because it could splash up on you and that would be fun. Nobody likes that. We might end up having to get a bigger pot, honestly, but this will get us started, which is okay. I'm anticipating probably gonna have to do that. So there's my tomato sauce. If you just have a can of tomato sauce, it's probably like ideal, but if you don't, you can do it like I did. It's gonna be good. Okay. Um, how big, like eight ounces? I'm not like a culinary teacher or something like that. So I'm just you know, doing the best that I can with the stuff that I got. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that um, uh, seasoning there. This one. I'm gonna take this off because this is still cooking down. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. All right, there's our seasoning. Beautiful. Okay. All right. <coughs> Tallow. Yes. I wanted to see that. Sure. <coughs> got to put it in jars like this. All right, so we got a little jar. Now let's say you didn't have beef tallow, like what can you use? You can use vegetable oil, you can use olive oil, you can use like any oil. It's just, uh, you could use butter. Um, that would work. Probably not. I guess you can use margarine, who cares? Use something that you can basically start to saute your vegetables up with. <laughs> Made a little bit of a mess over here, but that's okay. It's breaking it up. Usually, a, like a butter knife is actually the better way to do this, but this was closest to me. So. Okay. Let's get a little more here. I'm not, oh, it's low. Okay. Meat was about a five in terms of like the heat that I put out, so it's like a medium. I'm gonna start the vegetables lower, and then if I need to bring it up, I will. But we basically want to soften up the vegetables. That's what we're trying to do here. Make it so that when we're chewing them, we're not having to fight them. Okay. And the, like I said, the really cool thing about this tallow is that, well, I don't want to pay for it already, so might as well use what you pay for, right? <clears throat> Uh, it keeps you out of the grocery store, right? As far as, you know, trying to buy butter all the time, right? Or oils all the time, which are really expensive, actually. <clears throat> Unless you use that blended stuff, like that blended, like the canola oils or the vegetable oils, which aren't really all that good for you. A lot of them are like man-made products. <clears throat> so who knows, right? All right, so there's that. All of our stuff in there. Um, by the way, just so you can see like, what it looks like, right? You want to see that. Okay, so you see how that's going. Turn the heat back on. Okay. Just in the way. That's all. Okay. We'll do the green peppers first. Get these guys going. There we go. Now, I'm going to put a little seasoning in there. Let me see what I got, though, first. Again, that's, that's like the whole point of this thing, right? It's like, I'm going to show you that you could just use what you got. Sorry, guys. You really suck. Don't fall, Tom. <clears throat> All right, so that's going. I'm going to put the towel somewhere close. Not too far away. And that I just refrigerate, so. All right, so what do I want? Well, I do want a little bit of uh, chili powder. Okay. And do I have anything in there? Uh, I'm not gonna need any mince on you. So. This is one of my favorite seasonings. I'm not sure how great it is, but uh, it's that uh, Spanish culture. <clears throat> so this is adobo. It's really good. This is like an everything seasoning. You can put it on anything. Vegetables, meat, fish, pescado. It's got a lot of salt. That's the, the sort of kicker of it. So don't use uh, too much salt. Cook great. It's not good for you, and it, in my opinion, can really overpower a dish real quick. So, all right, cool. And I'm thinking, just looking at what I did with my um, diced tomatoes, and I wanted to put them in as diced tomatoes. Um, but I am looking at this and saying to myself, I'm going to need a little bit more sauce because I bet you so much meat in there, right? So I'm going to blend up uh, a little bit more. And I guess I'll show you how that works. It's not complicated. 
complicated at all. None of this is. It's not rocket science. Alright, so there's my uh, ninja blunder here, right? This is the ninja. This thing is really good. This is how I start my mornings. Most mornings I'll have like a protein shake. Uh, just, you know, fruit, whatever fruit you want. Uh, scoop of protein powder. I like uh, vanilla, it's my favorite. And then uh, milk, and that's it. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the diced tomatoes and the chilies. Pick the top, and you just make sure, like, make extra sure that like those ridges line up, because you don't want to clean up that mess. No one does. I'm just gonna pulse it a little bit. it up nicely and again if there is chunks in there like that's okay i kind of wanted that but like i said i forgot the tomato sauce at the store so that's gonna have to do all right and we're gonna take this I'll switch it back over oh sorry guys yeah that's better so two eight ounce cans Done. Okay, so now we're gonna take this. Get this flowing. Get this flowing. What we're doing. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to figure this camera work out. And if you see that like you know, whatever you're doing, you know, using like let's say using brush glue and you see like it's like burning down or whatever, like Definitely have more. You, you, uh, you need that so that you avoid burning the bottom of the pan and all that stuff. You don't. You don't want to do that, especially if you're using someone else's pan, like it's your parents' pan or something. You'll make them quite upset, and then they'll blame me. That wouldn't be good. I don't want to make anybody upset. All right. It's definitely going to make a bigger pan. Get the obnoxious pan Achilles. I think we should. Okay. I'll be back. Basically, I'm gonna get a taller container just to keep throwing our ingredients in. Instead of like putting it to the max and then like struggling to to be able to turn things over, which is what's gonna happen, right? And then uh, yeah, I think that'll just be better. It'll make more things cook. All right, so here's the deal. I don't have like a middle ground. Maybe you do, and you're blessed to have a household that has a middle ground. I don't, which is sort of the theme of my life. <clears throat> nothing left of the middle. All or nothing. All right, here we go. See what I mean? All right. I got this pan because I do Thanksgiving on my own. Um, because I build your meals on Thanksgiving. It's just easier for me to do it on my own afterwards. And I got this to be able to do like a big turkey soup. And it works really great for that. It's like super awesome. starting to come along. You can sort of like, as you're moving these, you can kind of feel um, them soften up too, which is uh, kind of cool. So it's a, a lot of cooking, I think, is that. It's like the feeling out process or something. Here is my beans. And I've drained some of the juice. Like, don't just like open it up and be like, oh, I'll just throw that in. Right? Like some of that juice, you don't, you don't want all of it. A little bit is fine, like whatever, but. Not all of it. Same thing with these, right? Like drain them first, you know? Open them up to the point where they're, I should have shown you guys that, sorry. Um, open them up to the point where there's just a little bit left. You see that? Oh, there's just this little spot here that I didn't open on the can opener. This way I can open it up. Boom. Kind of like a hobo style, you know? And then, toss it in. 
Now we got all the base product in there. And then we gotta add the special stuff, okay? What is that? Well, it is suck. Organic beef stock is what I've got here. You, if you only have beef broth, you do what you gotta do, right? You get what you got and you just make the best of it, all right? So I'm gonna do two cups of this. For like a normal recipe, right? If you were doing just like two pounds of ground beef, right? You probably only need a cup. I'm gonna do two because this recipe's kind of big. But again, I wanted it to be, I wanted to make enough for a long time. And this is gonna start to cook down. So even that two cups, right? It's gonna, it's gonna be less. And then I like to use this stock to uh, top Achilles food. He really enjoys that, so it's gonna this. Okay. I'll leave this close just in case I change my mind and need more. I think that should be good. And I'm just gonna cook it down. That beef stuff, uh, I used to just use just tomato sauce all the way through, and it was good, but it wasn't, it wasn't this good. Uh, look at me using stuff, guys. It's a theme in my life. All right. I don't know anything is. Organization, man. Okay. So I'm just coming along. I think these are pretty much done. Okay. And you can always, like, you know, if you're, if you're not sure, right? When I'm, like, slightly browned, it's kind of cool. Is it a good measure of being done? And they're soft. They're super hot. Oh my gosh. Ah. Not hot spicy. Like, like hot temperature. Okay. A little bit of the tallow in there is going to be fine. We'll save what we can. We're gonna have to use a little bit more tallow, I think. So we'll start the onion. And we'll get a little bit more tallow in there. That looks like tallow all the way. When I was growing up, we didn't have tallow. We had just butter. That's pretty much what we used for the most part. Or, or vegetable oil if we had that lying around, but most butter. The problem is, butter is freaking so expensive, man. Stuff adds up. There we go. Make sure you get them all. Now this is gonna cook faster, right? Like, I got it on like the lowest heat just because I don't want them to burn. And uh, same thing, we're gonna do a little bit of a dough. And a little bit of that chili powder. This is optional, right? And if you have like garlic powder or garlic salt, or be careful with garlic salt actually, but with garlic powder, um, that would be good. I say be careful with garlic salt because you don't want too much salt in this dish. And you've got like the really salty chili. And then, you know, if you ever do that, by the way, because I have like done like dishes where I've had too much salt or, or too much spice, Adding sugar can kind of dilute that, so just like a thing to keep in the back of your mind if you ever make a mistake like me. It kind of cancels it out a little. I'm not saying that it's going to make it taste like the best thing ever, but it definitely can help nullify some of those things. Like the balance of palate. Okay, this pot. Okay, top's on. Onions are going, so that's cool. And then basically what I'll do is I will get all of my cans and you know, make sure that they're washed, put them in the recyclable 
because uh, that's a good thing to do, right? Take them out to be recycled, preserve our beautiful earth as best we can. A little thing to go a long way, right? All right, so this is going to cook down. I'm going to put it all together. And then what you can do, and I'm not really sure that I am going to do it this time, um, but you could do rice. And the nice thing about rice is that, well, it's good. I mean, it's tasty stuff. But also with rice, it will allow this meal to like be stretched out. So like if you're if you're really trying to budget, you know, and I, I certainly am all the time, if you can kind of have like that base layer of rice, right? You're gonna fill yourself up a little. And uh, and then this meal lasts even longer. And I did that last time. I don't know that I'm gonna do it this time. I think I'm gonna go no carb with that. It's kind of a clean protein and vegetables kind of deal. Cause I want to, that's it. This is not like a right way or wrong way. <laughs> And these are already starting to, they smell really good too, which you guys can smell them, so that'd be cool. Someday in the future, right? The like capture us and <laughs> put it on the web. Um, they're browning up nicely, and I don't think I need more tallow. I think that's just enough. That's good. All right. Thirsty, we got a drink. Almost there, guys. Let me show you what I got here. See it? It's like they are like caramelizing almost, right? That's um, uh, it's that color that we're that we're sort of looking for. This sort of brownish coloring that is going to make it look really good. But that's how we know that they're like softening down. And here's the cool thing is like, let's say that you got some bigger chunks in here. And so those chunks don't really go the way you want them to. And so now you're like, not all of it's softened enough. You're going to be putting this into here, into our big pot. And you're going to be cooking it for another half hour anyway. So like, it don't matter. Like it's going to get cooked down. It should be fine. So there's a lot of room for mistake in the recipe, which I think uh, is good for for me, and it makes it real. Good. And again, remember this is rocket science, right? I mean, it's not as easy as a hot pocket, but it's going to taste a lot better, and it's going to be a lot better for you. So. Hot pockets are expensive, man. Like, uh, this is what it comes to. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like a uh, like a wooden spoon, and I'm gonna do that just to be able to like actually dig in here because this is such a huge pot. So let me grab one. Get a wooden spoon. Okay, wooden spoon. cooked down quite a bit and those onions are ready to go in so we're gonna get these onions in we don't want to overcook them either right so yeah that's good cool so that's done Worst part is always the, you know, the 
clean up that I gotta do, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Turn off the burner. Gotta do that. Let me show you what we got to start. And then I'm going to uh gonna get the wooden spoon. This is like delicate guys. Alright. So we got this. Just gonna kind of go up and around. It's starting to look like chili. It's getting there. It's a little thin right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned, but it's gonna cook down. It's gonna cook down. So and I'm gonna leave it on like a medium heat, and I'm just going to throughout this half hour give it a little bit of stirring, give it a little bit of love, and just uh kind of cook this thing down. Let's go get the uh Beautiful. All right. So uh, I'm going to pause it and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the final product. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. This is a long video. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, we're back. Let's do it. Oh, geez. That is super hot. Ah. Put other than it's on. Okay. All right. So there's what we got. I uh, shut off the heat too, just to make sure that it didn't burn on the bottom or anything but that looks beautiful and uh yeah that's like without tomato sauce which is pretty cool you know that we were able to get it down to a consistency of chili you know something that's scoopable that we want which is really good and it's all good ingredients right so one more time what did we do we've got ground beef we've got our beans we've got corn We've got onions, and then we've got that stock. And that stock is like the binder together. And then if you have tomato sauce, do it. If you don't, if you have diced tomatoes, blend them up. But in any case, we got ourselves uh, definitely food for the for the week. So now I'm gonna have to let that cool down, and then we gotta package it up into you know a couple of containers. If I hadn't used that monstrosity, I would just put the whole thing inside the fridge and just call it quits. But I don't have that luxury. So, thanks for watching, guys. I know this was a super long video, but I hope it helps you. I hope it shows you that you know, like you can cook. It's it's not that hard. Um, it's super duper easy. You just gotta be willing to you know try and you know fail. And on the other side of things too, think about all the money that you could save if you just you know bought it ahead of time. You save time, you know, and money all together. This took us about an hour to do, so hour and a half maybe let's say to do. And now I'm good for the week. All right, guys. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.